Battlefield 1 is arriving very soon for those of you who didn't grab the early enlister edition and given all the hype and epic review scores that have been rolling in, I figured we'd take a look at everything you can do in the latest Battlefield installment. The World War I shooter includes the kinds of weapons and vehicles you'd expect from the era. You'll be using bolt-action rifles, automatic and semi-automatic weapons, artillery, flamethrowers, sabers, trench clubs, shovels, and a tiny, tiny gun. The melee combat has been reworked, and weapons are divided into heavy and light categories. When you get tired of walking, you can hop into a variety of tanks, armored trucks, biplanes, battleships, and even zeppelin. If you prefer, horses can also be ridden into battle. Much like earlier Battlefield Battlefield games, destructible environments, and weapon customization are returning. Battlefield single player is comprised of five independent war stories, which you can complete in any order. Each highlights a different protagonist, a different location, and a different part of the World War I conflict. The game's prologue, Storm of Steel, is set in France and places you in the shoes of several Harlem Hellfighters. When you die in this section, you'll see the name, birth year, and year of death of a real soldier. Through Mud and Blood is also set in France, but you'll take on the role of a British tank driver. Friends in High Places has you starring as a Royal Flying Corps fighter pilot. Avanti Savoia takes place in Italy and highlights the plight of a mournful survivor. The Runner features an Anzac runner on the Gallipoli Peninsula. And finally, Nothing is Written puts you in the boots of a Bedouin warrior in Mesopotamia under the command of Lawrence of Arabia. Battlefield 1's multiplayer supports up to 64 players, and the new squad system lets a group of players enter and leave servers together. There are nine maps and six modes to tuck into, which include Conquest, Domination, Rush, Team Deathmatch, and two new modes, Operations and War Pigeons. Operations sees teams fighting across several maps in a mixture of traditional Rush and Conquest gameplay. While War Pigeons is a new take on Capture the Flag, as teams compete to capture a pigeon and release a message to win the round. The maps are based on locations around the world, including Arabia, the Alps, and the Western Front. The eight classes you can choose from include Assault, Medic, Support, Scout, Tanker, Pilot, Cavalry, and Elite, which is the class you obtain through a pickup on the battlefield and allows you to use different special abilities or weapons such as the flamethrower. Each class has specific spawn bonuses, weaponry, and advantages versus certain enemies. DICE have said that Battlefield 1 will be more dynamic than earlier installments, and the single player will feature larger and more open environments than what you're used to from the Battlefield series. Don't take my word for it though, check out our review on site or pick up the game for yourself when it arrives on October 21.